Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Tony Hollowitz, and I want to thank you for being here for your Outlook 2013 training. Well, as we get into Microsoft Outlook, I need to get a couple things out of the way to start with. First of all, you, if you're using Microsoft Outlook, you might either be using it already or considering the use of Microsoft Outlook. And the reason you'd want to use Microsoft Outlook predominantly is to manage your email. Now, it does some other things as well. You can manage your email, you can keep contacts in it, you can keep a calendar in it, and also manage some to-dos. And we're going to take a look at all of that. But I need to get some preliminary information out of the way. To start with, if you are a small business owner and you have an email address, the reason you'd use Outlook with your email address is to get your email, to send and receive email. But having stated that, you might be at that point in this experience where you have more questions than answers. For example, if you are already equipped with an email address, for example, I'm going to use in this class an email address of Anthony at TonyTheTeacher.com. Anthony at TonyTheTeacher.com. And because I have that email address, what I can do is I can set that up in Microsoft Outlook so I can send and receive emails at that email address. To be able to set up an email, I have to know all the settings. Now the settings are something that should be given to you by the company that manages or takes care of your email address. And Typically that might be a company like GoDaddy which is a domain hosting and registration service or something similar to that. If you're at work and you're giving that, maybe that's done behind the scenes. And honestly, if you're in a workplace where you're given an email address, they've probably already set up Microsoft Outlook to work already. But I'm just going to address for small business people or individuals that want to use Outlook for a tutorial or two. And if you already have it all set up, you can maybe go past this. But having stated that, one of the things you want to think about is once you have your email address and you want to use Microsoft Outlook, the first step is to set up Microsoft Outlook to be able to get the emails coming in. So let me just show you something. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and I'm going to click on the Start button and I'm going to go up here and I want you to observe that Microsoft Outlook is right here. But what I'm going to do, because I use Outlook already and I use it for some different email addresses, the Anthony at TonyTheTeacher.com I'm using just for these tutorials, because I use Outlook already, one of the first things I want you to know about Outlook is you can have what are called multiple profiles. And multiple profiles mean you could use Outlook for your personal email address and you could use Outlook for your business email address. So when Outlook starts up, you could actually have it ask you, do you want to open your personal email or your business email? So that is called a profile. You can have multiple profiles with an Outlook. Okay. So what I'm going to do at this point, because I already use Outlook, I need to go someplace else and set up this account. So bear with me just a moment. I'm going to click on the Start button again. I'm going to come up and right here in the Control Panel, I'm going to come over and go down to where it says Mail. Now for those of you that are brand new to Outlook, some of this information might be more than you were really looking for. But I just feel like I need to show it to you so you understand if you're you know, a small business and you're starting from scratch, some of these things that you might not be comfortable with or be aware of. On that note, if you need help, I do consulting, I do training, so that's why you pick up the phone and call me and I can walk you through some of the, the details and some of the things that you need to think about. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click right here on Mail, Microsoft Outlook, and at this point, this is an area where I can set up different profiles or I can get in and manage different access to my different email accounts. Again, some of this is over the top for those of you that this is already set up. So having stated that, I'm going to click on Show Profiles and here are the profiles I have and I'm going to add one and I'm going to call it Anthony because that's the name of the email address and I can call it anything I want at this point. It doesn't matter. I'm going to click OK and now I'm going to be prompted to set up my email. I'm going to click down here on Manual Setup. I'm going to click Next. And I'm doing this because I know the kind of email system I have. Now, when you set up email, you have different options. 
And for most small businesses, it's either going to be POP or IMAP. And I'm going to address that in the next tutorial, the difference between these two. If you're a bigger company, you most likely have Microsoft Exchange, or you might. And that is very common in bigger companies, bigger corporations. But on that note, if that's what you have, it's already been set up for you most likely. So you don't have to go through all these steps. It's most likely already been done for you by an IT department. And that's why this isn't as important. I'm going to come down here, click on Pop and IMAP. I'm going to click Next. And what you'll be prompted for at this point is some settings. And when you're working in Microsoft Outlook, typically your settings are given to you by the company in which you have your email address through. And in that case, they will give you all this information. But without boring you, I'm just going to go through this very quickly and set it up. I'm not going to drag you through this, but if you need help with this in the future, be aware of the fact that this is something that can help you with. And again, the, uh, the companies that, like a GoDaddy, will help you with this stuff as well. So on that note, I just sort of wanted to get you into this a little bit without getting you too involved in it, but it's something I just felt I needed to touch on. What I'm going to do is when I come back in the next tutorial, I'm going to talk about the difference between what's called POP3 or POP email and IMAP and why there's a distinction and why, especially as a small business, you need to know what the difference is and when you set up your email account, you need to make that decision. I'm going to tell you right up front what I recommend in this day and age is something called IMAP. POP is somewhat old school. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for being here for this tutorial. This is the starting point and I hope you learned some stuff. Thank you.